Is this a new regional form of Diglett? Or perhaps a new Pokemon altogether? What is up everyone and welcome to a short and sweet Pokemon Scarlet and Violet update video where today's reveal is anything but short as we've got a major discovery in this new form of Diglett? So earlier today, seemingly out of nowhere, the Pokemon Company showcased a special video called the Pokemon World Ecological Society, which had various clips from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, mainly Pokemon we'd already seen revealed, interacting with the world around them. But to everyone's surprise, this ecological showcase ended with the reveal of a brand new Pokemon, which we're going to take a look at right now. What seemed to be so-called Diglett? <laughs> The fact that they're posing this as a question makes me think that it probably isn't just a regional variant. And you can read down in the subtitles, they have many theories for what this Diglett could be. I believe I saw the translation of this on Twitter. Basically, they're asking what you think it is. Regional form, new Pokemon, new evolution, with almost everyone thinking that it is a regional variant because that's what we're used to, of course. But you'll soon find out that looks can be deceiving. Would ground-type Diglett live near water like this in the first place? Probably not, because water is super effective against ground-type, but regional forms can also have different typing, which could mean this Diglett is a water and ground-type variant. Therefore, it wouldn't be scared to be near the ocean like this. They are definitely based on these little critters called Garden Eels, which I've actually seen firsthand at the Chicago Aquarium before, and was mesmerized by the way they go in and out of the sand. And they can stretch pretty far out of there, which reminds me of the theory that Diglett's body just keeps going all the way down to the center of the Earth. Now I'm kind of starting to believe this theory, especially with the new form here, and the way they stick further out of the ground than their regular counterpart. The form and movements indeed look like Diglett, but they're probably a different Pokemon. I don't know how you would get to that conclusion, but a memo says this Pokemon that lives on the beach or in the Sea of Paldea region would be Wigglet. Huh? Although they appear to be a Paldean form of Diglett, we've learned that they live and eat differently as if they're an entirely different Pokemon. According to research, it's actually coincidence that they have similar bodies as they both burrow in the ground in the sand. So apparently this thing isn't related to Diglett or a regional variant? Pokemon ecology is so deep, just like Wiglet burrows deep into the ground. <laughs> so it seems we finally got the confirmation of regional fakes or convergent species, which leakers have been talking about for months now and are basically regional forms that aren't categorized as such and instead considered entirely new Pokemon with a different name and separate Pokedex entry. Although, I'm kinda skeptical on the name Wigglet. In the real world, convergent evolution refers to animals that evolve from the same ancestor but develop slightly different physical features, like Diglett here could have evolved slightly differently when living near the water, but that kind of sounds like regional forms in the Pokemon world. I mean, already we've seen Paldean Wooper, which is just Wooper that grew up in the poisonous swamp. So what makes this Diglett an entirely different Pokemon? I suppose we'll have to wait and find out. One last thing to note is we actually saw the regular form of Diglett during this Pokemon Ecological Society presentation, and they're looking even freakier than Wiglet over there somehow. I don't know if it's the texture or the eyes, but something about these Diglett looks like they might be secretly plotting to kill you. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Will this end up being a Paldean regional form or is it really an entirely new Pokemon? And if so, what would this phenomenon be called? As of now, the official Pokemon account hasn't tweeted or posted any videos confirming the existence of Wiglet, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do get an official trailer later on in the day. So stay tuned because I'll be updating this video if that happens with the official findings, but I'm like 99% sure that this Diglett will end up being a water and ground type. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.